So you may well be thinking, what on earth is going on? There was a video on Tuesday, there's now a video on Thursday. What's she playing at? <laughs> well, I've been thinking about it for a while. I've been thinking about upping my content and producing more vlogs, just because basically your response. So if you think there's anyone to blame for this, it's your own fault. <laughs> for ages, I used to film my entire day and I used to think, oh my God, that was so boring, Lydia. Like no one's ever gonna watch it. And then I would sit down and edit it and I'd be like, oh, this isn't actually too bad. Like, people might enjoy this. I always know a good vlog when I sit there and smile. Admittedly, it probably doesn't seem like the right thing to do just before Vlogmas, but I like to strike whilst the iron is hot. <laughs> so yeah, this week content has been Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday. Then obviously we are moving into Vlogmas where I will be vlogging every day. And then after that, I'm hopefully going to continue that. So you will get two vlogs a week and then also a sort of sit down chatty one. But if I've got more vlogs, I will put those out like instead of the chatty ones. So just basically, I just want to, to keep it fresh and keep it fun and enjoyable. So I feel like this is the next step for my channel. So I hope that you are as excited as I am. I mean, when I announced it on Twitter and Snapchat, you guys, oh, you're just like, your excitement is so contagious and it makes me so excited for everything, so. Yeah, I'm very excited for that. I'm not gonna gush, I'm not gonna say thank you, I promise I'm not gonna say thank you. <laughs> so in this vlog, I am gonna be getting a number of my beauty treatments done. I thought, seeing as we're moving into December and there's gonna be some events and things like that, I thought that it's probably a good idea that I go and get my nails done and I get my hair done. So, I mean, my nails are an absolute mess. I don't really know what's happened this time. Like, usually my nails just last and what they do is they just grow out, but this time they've chipped. I can't decide whether to go for something more festive as well. Because I know that I always have nude nails, but maybe I should try red? I don't know. I'm gonna see what they've got. Basically, I'm going to the High Definition Beauty Salon, which is here in Milton Keynes. I think it's their flagship one, which is really cool, because Milton Keynes doesn't really get stuff like that. But it's a really beautiful salon, and all the girls there are so, so lovely, and it's just a lovely place for me to go. I used to have someone come to my house, but now I actually really enjoy going and getting it done there. So I'm gonna go and have the shellac done on my nails. Just It's just my natural nails. And that's what's happening today. And then on Wednesday, I am going down to London and I'm going to my usual hair salon, but I'm not actually seeing Despina. And if you haven't heard about Despina just yet, if you are new to this channel, I will link my hair history video in the description box below so you can go and like find out all about what my hair has been through because it's been quite a journey. I'm actually gonna be seeing Dane and Dane cuts my hair. He's like responsible for this kind of like blunt look that I'm sporting at the moment and he's just an insane hair cutter person. But he also has like pioneered this like keratin blow dry treatment thing. And I've been bugging him to do it on my hair for ages. So I thought they would make really good content for my YouTube channel, so I'm gonna be vlogging that as well. And I thought that I would make this into a get my beauty treatments done with me kind of video. So I hope that you enjoy it. If it looks like I'm vlogging at night, it's because I basically am, even though it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon, it is pitch black outside. Like I cannot even express to you how dark it is today. I've got all of the lights on, it is, it is a winter's, rubbish day. This is the kind of wintry day that I hate because you can't take pictures, you can't really film and everything just looks dull. I'm looking in the viewfinder and it doesn't look that bad but it is that bad, okay? It's really miserable today. <laughs> so I'm gonna get on with some work for the moment and oh, can you hear that rain? Wow. <laughs> so I'm gonna get on with some work for the moment and then I'm gonna get all packed up and ready to go to the salon and just enjoy about an hour to myself just to chill and relax and get my nails done. But I was gonna go into the usual spiel of don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I do two videos a week, but I don't do two videos a week anymore, I do three. So please do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below because I am now doing three videos a week and I really hope that you will join me now on this like vlogging adventure. Prepare to see a lot more of my life, I guess. How exciting. <laughs> okay, let's get on with it. <laughs> I watched you 
So I've just got dressed out of my comfies, ready to go and get my nails done. I've gone for an all black outfit because it's just easy and I'm sure you've seen this outfit on my blog before but I'm wearing my Pierre Balmain jacket which is so nice to just throw on. Literally you can put this on over any black outfit and it instantly makes it so nice, like gives it sort of like, just makes it look a little bit more special and um, Zara Bikers, Christian Louboutin boots, Louis bag, and then I've got jewellery from Monica Vinader, Thomas Sabo, and Astrid and Mew. Anyway, I am literally running so, so late, so I'm gonna have to go get in the car now and drive there so quickly, but luckily it's only like five minutes from my house, so yay for fresh nails! <laughs> definition beauty and I've got my nails done and I'm just so so happy with them I decided not to go festive I'm gonna go festive when it's more like Christmas time so on the 12th that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go and get really nice red nails because I've already booked in my follow-up appointment because they get booked up so quickly so I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss out but I've just popped my diffuser on and my comfy clothes because it's cold oh so cold <laughs> but I'm gonna snuggle on the sofa and get back to the emails that I missed whilst I was out I'm also gonna make myself some food and I really wanted a jacket potato but we don't have any so I'm just gonna have like tomato soup and like 50 million slices of bread because I'm a hungry girl it's so funny though because once upon a time I used to just walk around with like chipped nails and they were all like breaking and stuff like that and now I just it literally upsets me so much if my nails don't look nice so yeah, I love it. It's actually one of my favorite things to do to go and get my nails done. And especially when the place is as nice as high definition beauty. Like when you walk in, it's like being in like a boudoir. It's amazing. And I'm actually going to go and have like some brow treatments and some skin treatments as well in the coming week. So yeah, I'm excited to spend a little bit more time there. But anyway, I'm absolutely starving. So let's make some dinner. And this is my dinner. It is homemade soup made with real tomatoes that were picked from the mountains of the Himalayan jungle. I'm kidding. It's just Heinz. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it's Wednesday and it's a little bit grey today but it looks like it's gonna brighten up maybe. But it's cold, I know that for sure, it is cold. <laughs> so I got my nails done at HD Beauty and I remembered the shade colour now, it's... Oh, what is it? It's something or Kid Me Not, or something like that. Or Kid Me Not from Jellish, I don't know, but it's beautiful. Let me give you a bit of a close up, yeah. So those are my nails, and it was just a lovely, lovely experience to just go and get my nails done. Obviously, I mean, what girl doesn't love getting their nails done? I remember when mine used to be all chipped and disgusting, and now I'm like, oh my God, if my nails aren't like tidy and neat, I feel like, ugh. But today, I'm getting something done that I've never had done before. I am going to get a keratin treatment on my hair. It's like a keratin blow dry. And um, I've never ever had this before. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous because I don't want like poker straight hair. But the guy that does it is the guy that also cuts my hair and he is like a cutting genius. Um, he's kind of like developed his own treatment. So I'm gonna go and have that done today. But before I go and get my hair done, because I'm actually getting my hair done at four, I have two meetings. I have one with Giorgio Armani and then I'm going to the Viterri head office where I'm gonna pick up lots of new in goodies, which I'm so excited about. Literally, I love going to the head office because it's like, it's like me being a kid in a candy store when I go there. I literally just love it. And they're all so nice there as well. So I'm very excited for that. I've also got to meet Lily Pebs on the way because Yesterday I shot a really exciting campaign, like really exciting. I was so excited for you to see this. It was at Heathrow Terminal 5 and before I went, Lily was telling me that she wanted a bag and I was like, well, I'm going to Heathrow Terminal 5 and Gucci do like tax free. So if I've got, if they've got the bag, do you want me to pick it up for you there? And she was like, oh my God, yes. 
So I have the bag downstairs, we got it, and um, it's her birthday present to herself. So I've got to meet her at Euston and quickly give her that, and then go on to my first meeting. So yeah, it's, um, I just like the fact that I was able to help in getting her the bag that she wants. I love doing stuff like that, I love it. Like, uniting women and handbags. It's like my dream job. Oh, I forgot to say also, I'm getting my hair cut, and I don't, I, I mean, I'm not gonna do anything too drastic, but I'm gradually like going shorter and shorter, so I might have a little bit taken off because I'm just, I'm just loving short hair at the moment, so I feel very like well kept when my hair is like short and blunt and just like, yeah. So um, I'm gonna get my hair cut as well because it needs it. And then once I get back from Germany, because we fly to Germany at four in the morning, I am gonna get my hair coloured, ready for Christmas. So then all of my beauty stuff is done and I'm ready for the festive season, which I'm very, very excited about. So yeah, now all we have to do is buy a Christmas tree. So perfume wise today, I am gonna wear this. This is one of the Dior exclusives fragrances and I actually picked this up in Terminal 5 yesterday. I've always wanted one of these. I'm a bit of a lover of exclusive fragrances and I didn't have a Dior one yet. So I thought it was about time that I got one and they had it in World Duty Free in Terminal 5. So this is the fragrance that I picked up. But I think there's like 10, like eight or 10 in the range. And this was just the one that I liked the most. So I'm gonna open it now and pop it on. So it comes in this cylinder and you take the lid off and it's like this. Such a beautiful bottle as well. I love it. I'd love to have like three of these in a row. It looks so nice on your dressing table. And on my lips again, I've got stripped down and Tom Ford nude vinyl. So expensive makeup and perfume today. <laughs> I've got my comfy page denim black jeans on, the Hoxton style, and um, I've got a Joseph cashmere knit all the way underneath all of the layers. Um, I'm wearing my Bauman blazer um, over the top, and then over the top of that I've popped my Burberry gilet, just to keep me super warm, but when I take it off, like I've still got my blazer on, so I still feel like put together. I just love all black outfits in winter, I can't like not wear them, but yeah, I'm super super cosy in this, so. Yeah, happy with this. And I'm taking my usual partner in crime. Inside here is Lily Pebbles' birthday present to herself. So yeah, I better not forget that and take that with me on the train. Come on. Lily. So, I dropped Lily's bag off to her and I've told her that I really want her to do an unboxing so I think that you should all go and tell her to go and do an unboxing at least on Snapchat but I've got my first meeting now with um, Giorgio Armani Beauty so I'm going to go and meet them at Dean Street Townhouse and I'm going to have some breakfast as well because I'm so hungry they didn't have any croissants left at the cafe at the station where I where I travel from so yeah, I'm looking forward to breakfast. I can barely hold up my hand because I've got so many bags on this arm. But I'm in South Kensington on my way to the By Terry head office. It's cold, my eyes are running, but I'm so excited to see the team. So let's get inside. Um, I haven't been able to vlog because I've had my hands full. I've got so many bags with me, you wouldn't believe. Like my my arms hurt so much. But I'm here and I'm about to have my hair cut and I'm gonna have what's the what's the treatment called? Keraflex. I'm about to have Keraflex on my hair, so it's gonna be like a keratin treatment that like makes your hair more manageable. 
and, and stronger, stronger. So I'm very excited to have that and I'm hoping that my hair is going to be amazing when I finish. So you're going to see the entire process from start to finish, which I'm so excited to show you because I've never had this done before. So yeah, let's get going. I have stage one of Olaplex on my hair. Basically, this treatment is like a hybrid of Olaplex and keratin treatment. So it's going to repair my hair and then it's also going to seal my hair with that like repairing properties in it. So it's going to be that my hair is like extra, extra strong. So this is the first stage. My hair always feels so nice after Olaplex. has been applied to my hair and it's been straightened. It was a weird process, like my eyes watered a little bit because it's quite strong. But now they are going to rinse it off and I'm gonna have a blow dry. I think they I can't I think they're gonna put a neutralizer on it, but I'm not too sure. But so far it looks amazing but then it's been straightened so it'll be interesting to see what it looks like when they've like just blow dried it. So we'll see. just got home from the hairdressers now. I was a little bit delayed. There was big delays at Euston, but um, can't believe how short my hair is. Oh my gosh. Like literally had another two inches taken off. As far as the Keraplex treatment, my hair feels super, super soft. Like the softest my hair's ever felt. I have very, very coarse and like almost horse-like hair. So people are always like, oh, you've got really dry hair, but like that's literally how my hair is and it now feels very, very soft for my hair. Obviously, only time will tell if um, it makes styling my hair a lot easier because at the moment, styling my hair is, it's quite a long process. So what I ideally would like to have is hair that I can like allow to dry by itself and it still look presentable rather than like a frizzy, fuzzy mess. <laughs> I've got no styling product in it at the moment, but it's, um, it just feels lovely, so I'm gonna put some like of my dusting powder in at the roots. What they've done is they've actually rinsed off the treatment, so it's still there, it's still working, and it's still setting my hair straight, but it doesn't feel gross, so I can go to Germany tomorrow and not have like gross hair. So it's actually been quite easy, like it's not really been one of those treatments that you feel like you have to have time out for or anything like that. Um, but as I said, I'm gonna have to wait to see if it changes things. I'll probably wash my hair in like two or three days time and um, I'll only be able to tell then. So in my next vlog, I will tell you my verdict on it, but so far it's made my hair feel incredible. Like obviously I've had Olaplex before, but this is like even softer than that. Um, especially on my coarse hair. So I get this done by Dane. Dane is who cuts my hair and it's at the same salon where I go to see Despina and um, he's like developed his own kind of system for this and literally he would like assess the hair in every different area of my head and like apply more product where it needed it, less where it didn't need it. Yeah, that was just, it was like, it was like an art. It's kind of like the way that Despina does hair. It's just, it's not just one sort of thing all over your hair. It's like per area and making sure that it um, works like on your hair to each individual area, if that makes sense. You can tell I'm not a hairdresser. <laughs> so far, I'm loving the results, I'm loving the length. I'll show you the length in the um, mirror, even though our house is an absolute tip at the moment because we're packing, so please don't judge, but yeah, this is the length of my hair now. If you think that my hair was like down here before, because I used to be able to tuck it in my jeans, um, but yeah, now it's, um, a little bit shorter and a little bit more sophisticated and I just feel very like well kept when my hair is like this so yeah we just went a little bit shorter but um, 
I love it a lot. I'm so sorry that I'm in my like minging tracksuit bottoms. This is so gross. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed getting my beauty treatments done with me this week. Uh, my lovely nails and my hair. And I will be getting my hair coloured next week, so I'm sure I'll be vlogging that as well. I'm actually taking my stepmom to get her hair done as well. So it's gonna be like a little bit of a tag team. Just Des Desphine's gonna be doing both our hair. So and yeah, so I'll be vlogging then as well because obviously I am doing three videos a week now, so yeah. Well, actually, no, it's probably Vlogmas by now. No, it's not Vlogmas yet. But when, it, obviously, when it's Vlogmas, I'll be uploading every day, hopefully. Um, but when we go into the new year, I am hoping to do as much as possible three videos a week. Like, that's going to be my aim. But if I don't make it some weeks, then it's not going to be a big deal, I hope. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling on. I need to pack. We're going to Germany at 4 a.m. So I will see you in my next video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Bye! It's just, it's just